Hi, I'm Mike, and this is Organ Trail Director's Cut. This is an offering from the Men Who Wear Too Many Hats, and can be found at hatsproductions.com uh, slash Organ Trail DC. Uh, it can be found on Steam, Desura, Amazon, uh, in the Amazon App Store, and it can be found for PC, Mac, Linux, Android, iPhone, and iOS. Um, for the um, computer versions, it is forty ninety nine US dollars or your local equivalent, and for the mobile versions, it is two ninety nine US dollars or the local equivalent. Um, so I am going to give this a hack because I love indie games, and um, this one is a fun one. I love the original. I love well, not like there was an original Oregon Trail, but I like Oregon Trail, and um, I like zombie games. They're, uh, they're, they're a guilty pleasure, despite the fact that every game is a zombie game nowadays. So let's go and give this a shot. I, uh, I did start a, uh, a game for, um, for testing purposes, so I will overwrite that. It will be normal. We will play the intro. And from behind my bunker, I will shoot these zombies. Because I am a elite pro sniper. And now I'm out of ammo, so I'm borked. But wait! I have been rescued. Wonderful. Well then, it looks like I just saved your bacon. I reckon we stand a better chance out there if we stick together. My name is Clemens. I used to be a priest. Not much use for those nowadays. What's your name, partner? Well, my name is Mike. The pleasure's all mine, Mike. Listen. Even with the two of us, we won't survive very long. Everyone I trusted died a while back. You know anyone we could count on in a pinch? Well, yes I do. These are some friends of mine. Corey, who, incidentally, uh, sent me the game. And... There we go. These names are indeed correct. There's a good chance if they're still alive, they will be at the shelter set up in DC. If they have any sense, that is. I'm going to need an... Uh, way to get around. I saw an old station wagon a few blocks back. Those things might not be very reliable, but you'd be surprised how roomy they are. Anyway, let's get moving. So, let's follow Clemens here using the WASND. And I follow him to this station wagon. Alright. I think I've got just enough fuel and food for us to make it to DC in this baby. Let's hit the road. I'll drive. Alright. So we hop in the station wagon. And Clemens is driving. And he has a broken arm. I don't know how he managed that inside of the station wagon, but maybe he was going to go give a trucker a high five or something. So we carry on, and Clevin says dysentery. Huh. She just keeps getting better and better to be in the car with Clemens, huh? Huh. Okay then. It's a good thing this is in my car. And Clemens was bitten by a zombie. You know, maybe I would have had a better chance of surviving on my own. And now we're out of gas. Great. We are out of fuel! Washington, D.C. Just as the station wagon runs out of fuel, you coast into the city. You can hear radio blaring in a nearby window. Repeat, all survivors who still remain in Washington, D.C. The government has declared a Class 3 biohazard in the area. They will be commencing a nuclear strike within a few short hours. Get out while you can. The city is lost. Looks like we have a time problem. 
I'll look for your friends at the shelter. Meanwhile, you should go scavenging for supplies. I've heard about a place on the west coast that is supposed to be a safe haven from all this chaos. We'll meet back here and head out. Here, take my journal. I've written down everything I know about surviving on the road. It should help you decide what you think we may need on the trip. This all sounds like a great idea, but how does he know what my friends look like? Hmm. Alright, so just like the original Oregon Trail, uh, you pick supplies at the beginning of your journey. You can go and not pick supplies, but that's just crazy. Uh, you can travel for four hours on a tank of gas. Uh, find that you want to have at least eight tanks with you at any given time so you can make it to your next destination. Even then, the suckers seem to get lost for so long time. time. Uh, Medkits. Money. Scrap for fixing cars. Food, obviously. Um, depending on the number of people in your group and how you ration your food, you'll burn through your food at a rate of 1 to 3 ounces per person per hour. That means you'll be eating an average of 240 ounces a day in a group of 5. Ammo. The world has gone to shit. It's a great thing that America loves its guns because I can't ever seem to kill enough of these zombie bastards. Yes. And car parts. So I'll be explaining kind of what all these do. Uh, fuel, obviously, is fuel for the shagging wagon. So we're going to get some of that. Uh, we will get ten med kits. Money, meh. I'm going to pass up on the money. Uh, muffler is not absolutely necessary, although it is a good idea to get your hands on one at some point. Um... It's not vital for the functionality of your car, but it does keep the zombies away. Well, it doesn't keep the zombies away, but if you don't have one, it will definitely attract them. Now we'll grab two, ta uh, two tires, 400 rounds, and the rest will go to food. My friends, you look absolutely nothing like that. Join the party. I like to think that uh, the guy with the cricket bat, this guy, he kind of looks like Sean from Shaun of the Dead, Simon Pegg. This is me. Great. Everyone's here. There's just one more thing. Back there on the road, one of those things bit me. I'm already not feeling too well, and I can't stand the thought of becoming one of them. You're going to have to put me down. Why don't you keep my journal? It may help you out there. Good luck. Well, Clemens, you've been nothing but a pain in my ass. Going and getting bit by zombies and having dysentery in the car and breaking your arm almost immediately. I'm sorry, new friend. Put down Clemens like the dog he was. Well, on that happy note, we'll be um, heading off to the next landmark, which is 230 miles away. We have 24 cans of fuel, 375 ounces of food. Uh, so, let's get on the road. We don't know a speed bump on the road. Everyone hits their head as we fly over it. And everyone has a mild concussion. Lovely. Quite get shot by a stray bullet. Well, that's a thing. Huh. I always thought it'd be me. And. Corey was holding our map upside down. We. <laughs> we go an hour out of the way. You know, ordinarily I would harp on Core for this, but, you know. Dude just got shot earlier today. Uh, I'm gonna let that slide. The moon's coming up. Dean has cholera. I don't know how you managed to contract cholera in the station wagon, but, um, impressive. I, uh, hope that works out for you. A 
if Eva has exhaustion, I'd be exhausted too if I were in a car with someone who was shot, a dude who had cholera, and yeah, we're driving around in circles. If Eva no longer has exhaustion, well, she seems to have gotten over it. I see the grave of some poor soul buried at the side of the road. Will you stop to look? Oh, sure. Here lies Finn, Reuben, and Lily, Daddy's Little Zombies. Ah! Okay. Um. Ah! Whew. Whew. That was terrifying. Um. And now we're in Pittsburgh. So. Now that we're in the Steel City, I guess we can, uh, set some stuff up. We'll go at a normal pace. We will try to repair the shagging wagon. And let's see how successful that was. Repairs were successful. Awesome. Alright. Well. Some rest would probably do our party a little pretty well. Um, let's rest for four hours and see if we regain enough health for it to be worth it. Oh, everybody is doing pretty well. Dean no longer has cholera. He just needed to sleep it off. One hell of a trooper. All right. Well, let's see what time it is. It's 3 a.m. Well, that's not a great time to go scavenging. So let's go back and rest. We'll rest until we'll rest until 10. Let Core heal up from his gunshot wound. Apparently he just needs to sleep off. I apparently get a little bump on the head from a speed bump and... But it's the end of the world. I, I'm, I'm... There's no way for me to be able to fix it, but... Corey gets shot, and Dean has cholera, and they're able to just sleep it off. I, I, I don't get it. Alright, so zombie activity is low. It is 10 a.m. It is time to go scavenge. Now scavenging is probably the best way to go and get supplies in this game other than trading. Um, but in order to be able to trade, you have to be able to have stuff to trade. So, um, this is the best way to go out and get that. Go and get some food here. And shoot me a zombie. And, uh-oh. Those suckers are tough. Grab the bag of money back there. Shoot him. Those guys with the legs kind of freak me out a little bit because they move really fast. Or they seem like they move really fast. I am apparently some sort of zombie killing machine. I have found 30 ounces of food while scavenging, and I have also found $50. Awesome. Alright, so since zombie activity is low, I will take advantage of that to go scavenge some more. And go grab a bag full of groceries. Zombies stuck behind the wall here. A chest high wall. Go grab myself some scraps so we can fix the wagon a little bit later. Go shoot this dragger. Pop that guy while I'm running away. Get that guy stuck on some terrain. Oh, he didn't really get stuck on terrain. He's coming right for me. Alright. And I don't know what that... Ah! I freaked out. I panicked and just... Yeah. I was attacked by a zombie while scavenging, and I have been injured. I managed to carry back 50 ounces of food, and managed to keep $25 and 10 scraps. Not a bad haul, overall. 
Now, if you see, I have been hurt additionally. So, let's go back and scavenge some more while the zombie activity is still low. I'm gonna grab this canned food. Go pop this guy in the face. Go pop this guy in the gut. Headshots. Because it requires a lot of skill to be able to do this. I will be um, going and applying my skills to the MLG Pro circuit in Oregon Trail when it, when it goes part of the circuit. I found 140 ounces of food while scavenging. Awesome. So now we have 375 ounces of food, which is good. Uh, 10 scrap, which means that we'll be able to do nice repairs on the car a little bit later. And 75 bucks. So, do some more scavenging. Oh, some scrap right off the hop here. Pop that zombie in the head. Shoot that zombie in the face. Ooh, somebody's wallet! Awesome. You don't need that in the zombie apocalypse. I will go and take that for you. And okay. Alright. And go and shoot some more zombies. Uh, okay. So I found 20 more ounces of food and $20 and 20 scrap. Alright, so zombie activity is still low. I'm going to scavenge one more time here. Just to make the most out of my day. Ooh! Space box on the ground! Alright. And go and grab myself. You see, these guys you have to... Up twice. These guys with the brains exposed. Uh, and I don't know why, but I freak out when they get like close to me. I just I guess they do a very good job of kind of conveying the panic that you would have, or actually like zombies kind of closing in on you. Okay, I found 120 ounces of food while scavenging, and I also found five dollars. All right, so now we've got a hundred bucks and 495 ounces of food, along with 30 scrap. So, okay, nobody's doing any combat training. Hey, I am Simon Pig. That's awesome. If you haven't seen Shaun of the Dead, you definitely should. All right, so. Um, did we fix the car? Yes, we did. Did I set the pace? Yes, I did. Uh, supply. Let's set the rations. Medium. Awesome. Uh, everybody's fine except for me. I will take a med kit. And watch your stranger. Getting bit isn't the end for you. Some folk out there will kill anyone that's been scratched by one of them old Zed heads. All right. Since it's still mid-afternoon, now is the best time to probably leave. We must cross a horde of zombies in order to continue on the road. The horde in front of us is currently moderate in size and appears to be alert. Horde size is moderate, the horde disposition is alert. So, <clears throat> we have some options, just like in the original Oregon Trail, about what we may want to do. Um, we can wait to see if the Horde disperses, we can break out guns and clear a path, and we can attempt to sneak through. And we can get some information about our choices. We can attempt to sneak through the zombie Horde. If the zombies aren't uh, aggressive looking, we might be able to slowly drive through them without drawing their attention. We can also fight our way through. We will attempt to drive through the horde at top speed, firing from the windows as we go. A large and very angry horde may still be able to overwhelm the vehicle. And if there are mercenaries nearby, they may be willing to protect us for a nominal fee as we pass through the horde. Now, 
The horde size is moderate. Horde disposition is alert. Um, hmm. Anybody knows who knows me knows that this is pretty much the only option for me. So that's what we're going to go with. We are going to cap some of these fools and fight our way through. successfully fought our way through the horde. Let's see. Distance to the next landmark. 200 miles. Alright. Find a broken down car with a usable upgrade for the car in it. We scavenged it. Awesome. Broken down cars. Block the road. Navigating the debris takes an hour. Okay. Our car, uh, it starts raining heavily. We will have to drive more slowly. I don't know if we've got, like, hydraulics on this thing, or it's just got a really bad suspension. But it sure seems like a bouncy ride. That, or there's something going on in the back. This guy clears up. We fog rolls in, we are forced to drive more slowly. Well, we're only 21 miles away, so it's not the end of the world. We have found some wild fruit. Lovely. Alright, so we're at the mall. Left to die. Very, 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 very nice. Alright, so... Shaking my hands doing okay, but let's repair it just to err on the side of caution here. Our repairs are successful. Huzzah. Okay. Ooh, the upgrades. What is this? <gasps> our batteries never need replacing? That's awesome. Alright. Okay, well, we can trade away our batteries now. Because, yeah. Our batteries never need replacing. Um. Let's do some trading. Passerby wants 23 of our dollars for five of their fuel. Hmm. Yeah, okay. Muffler for a battery? Yeah, absolutely. Um... Okay, nobody has anything to teach me. Uh, let's see if we can get rid of another one of those. That other battery. Thirteen hundred dollars for two of our minutes. No! I don't think so. Let's keep waiting. Uh, keep waiting. Uh, Passerby wants three of our scrap for one of their battery. No, we're trying to get rid of batteries. Four. Passerby wants six of our scrap for <clears throat> one of their med kit. If we had a little bit more scrap, I would think about that. We have a lot of med kits. Just say no. We're actually gonna stop there and rest. What time was it? 4 a.m. Alright. We are gonna wait until 11. Let everybody heal up. Get over the ordeal. Get some sleep in, because being on the road really, really sucks. Especially when you're having to fight your way through zombies. And you're done. I'm gonna go do some scavenging. Ooh, 
worst grab right on. And gonna shoot that zombie in the face. And shoot that zombie in the face, please. And grab some more scrap. And pop that guy. Oh, that was close. Okay, we grab this food. Shoot this guy. And shoot that guy. And... I've had 100 ounces of food while scavenging and $20 and 35 scrap. Hmm. I guess in retrospect, we probably could have done that trade for the med kit, but... Whatever. I'm gonna go scavenge some more. Ooh. Bag of food right off the hop. And go and shoot this guy twice. Go and grab some duct tape, I guess. Not exactly sure what that is. I love the aesthetic of this game because I love all the big games. And the music in this game is phenomenal. Um, there's a soundtrack version of this game, which, uh, if you're in the market for this game, is probably worth it, in my opinion. Oop. And found 100 ounces of food and $50 and 10 scrap. Okay, do a little bit more scavenging. Go grab this bag of chips, I suppose. No, the, 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 obviously the, the aesthetic is, is very organ trail-y, but the, the music is just phenomenal, even though it's, you know, uh, partially kind of midi-sounding in, in some aspects. I mean, whoa, this guy's really tough. Um, But the, the music is really great, and it really lends a phenomenal kind of ambiance to the to the game. I uh, found 115 ounces of food while scavenging, and $20. Scavenge one more time. Go grab some of that scrap. Death scrap. Shoot this guy in the face. Oh, grab a spark plug. Found 100 ounces of food and 20 scrap. Alright, so as you can see, we've got 26 fuel, 85 scrap, uh, 680 ounces of food, 9 med kits, 303 ammo, 2 tires, a battery, a muffler, and $167. Still, nobody wants to train me. I guess they think my kung fu is weak. Uh, let's see if we can trade. Fine. The car is fine. Alright, so so far we have made this much of the journey. Uh, I guess next time we will end up here. Until then, I'll see you next time. Uh, like the video down below if you enjoyed it, and be sure to subscribe if you like the video. Have a good day.